How are you all doing? You guys know I strive for the best possible audio quality. And you guys know this because of all the mics I have gone through, everything. Well, today we have a pop filter. So hopefully this improves the audio even further because I want you guys to have a comfortable watching experience. And hopefully that audio gets improved even further on Thursday. I'm not gonna tell you what's happening, but hopefully. You can probably guess. <laughs> so today's video was supposed to be the You Wish Mystery Tech video, and I had that thing completely edited, but all of that was blown out of the water today morning when I woke up, because I opened up Discord, and one of the members of our Discord, and I'm going to say your name out now, just so the credit goes to you, because it is entirely up to you, it's Uber J, entirely thanks to you, that this video is happening. He posted a way to basically get side quest onto your phone. And that is absolutely insane because a bunch of you keep telling me that you guys don't have a computer or do not have the means to install apps using a computer onto your Oculus Quest. Which basically means now if you have an Android phone, you can install apps through that onto your Oculus Quest. Now that is absolutely insane. Talking about insane. Honey, a lot of you have heard about it and a lot of you might actually already be using it. But just in case you're not, let me tell you about it. Honey is a browser extension that is aimed at helping you save money. You can install it on all your favorite browsers, including Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Opera. If it's a browser, it probably has Honey. You buy stuff online, right? You like saving money, right? I mean, I'd hope you do. Honey sits in your browser extensions, and every time you're on a website and want to buy something, it scours and searches the internet for the best coupon codes for you, helping you save money every time you buy. Check this out. So let's say I wanted to get myself a brand new laptop. Once I click on Honey, you can see it already says 1-8% to to rewards activated. What does this mean? Well, this means you're going to get Honey Gold back, and Honey Gold can be later on exchanged for coupons, meaning not only you save with your coupon on the website, you also get cash back. That's amazing. Let's proceed to check out. And as you can see, Honey instantly shows up and checks for our coupons. So let's let it check for coupons and see if it finds anything that we can use. Look at this. How amazing is that? We just saved $20 for free because that's what Honey is. Honey is exactly free and it just saved us money. So the only reason not to install Honey is if you don't like money. So head on down to the description and start saving money with Honey today. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do what UberJ sent a link to on the Discord. And hopefully this helps a bunch of you out because using this, you can actually do the resolution mod straight through your phone. Not only that, but you can also install all the apps you'd install through SideQuest straight from your phone onto your Oculus Quest. So without further ado, why don't we hop right into today's video? Okay, my screen is being recorded. So you guys should be able to see my screen right now. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into the Google Play Store and search for this application right here. I am not going to attempt to pronounce its name because that seems impossible to me. So what you want to do is you want to click install, of course, and what is this? Because a lot of you are very skeptical about the apps I send you guys. This is a mobile debugging bridge. Now, ADB stands for Android Debugging Bridge. Now, if you put that onto your phone, I call that a mobile debugging bridge. Because what you will be able to do is you will be able to execute ADB commands, Android Debugging Bridge commands, which is what we would normally be doing through the PC, which is what SideQuest does for you straight from your phone. What does this mean for us? That means if you have developer mode turned on on your Oculus Quest, and if you don't have that done yet, make sure to do that right now. I will have a video showing up right now. So here's what you want to do. To create a developer account, you will need to enter this website here, dashboard.oculus.com, and then when you enter that website, you need to create an organization. Once you create this organization, you should be ready to go into your phone. So I'm going to switch to the phone view now, and I'm going to show you what you need to do on your phone. So on your phone, you want to go into the Oculus Quest app right here, and then you want to click on settings down here. Then once you're clicked into settings, you want to select your Oculus Quest, press the down arrow, click on more settings, and click on developer mode. 
then you want to toggle developer mode to on. So that is how you turn on developer mode. So if you don't have that done yet, make sure to do that because that is what allows ADB debugging on the Oculus Quest. And you also need to enable ADB debugging on your phone. So how do we do that? Let's go into settings. Let's scroll down to the very bottom, click about phone, find build number, keep tapping on build number until it asks you for your passcode and that will enable developer settings. The sun is so broken today. Then go into system, or I'm not sure, I'm on Android 10, so it might be different for you. But go into developer options, find developer options, scroll down, and turn on USB debugging right there. Click OK, and you are set on the phone. So once you have developer options turned on on your phone and developer mode turned on on the Oculus Quest, you want to open the app, click agree, and as you can see, all the settings are to your disposal. Now we will not be playing around with these settings here. They are dangerous. Please, please, please be careful when you're using ADB. You can do a bunch of really weird things to your device. It's much closer to root access than I would feel comfortable telling you guys to get. It's still not root access, but it is getting there. So please be careful. You can do a lot of weird things. Do not run commands that you guys don't know what to do with. I had to get serious there for a moment because I cannot reiterate how important it is that you be careful using ADB. Now, what we are doing today is completely safe. There is no issues with it whatsoever. We will just be installing APK files. So let's grab our Oculus Quest and begin. What you will need in order to do this is an OTG cable or a USB-C to USB-C cable. Now, thankfully you do have one of those because your Oculus Quest comes with one of those. I believe that should work, but in case you're having issues with that, you may need an OTG adapter, or you may need a USB to USB type C cable. So we have our Oculus Quest, let's power it on. And thankfully I do actually own said USB-C to USB-C cable. So that's the one I am going to use right now. Whoops, I just dropped my magnetic connector. I have a USB-C to USB-C cable right here from Aki. I have a bunch of these just because most of my devices are USB-C and you guys should be transitioning to USB-C as well. Just like that. Okay, and now the Oculus Quest is connected to the phone. And now what I believe should happen is you should be able to go into your headset and accept the USB debugging dialogue. So let me do that right now. Okay, now on your phone, always open blah, blah, blah when said thing is connected. And now on your headset, allow USB debugging. So I'm going to click always allow from this computer. My USB-C to USB-C cable seems to be having issues. So I'm just gonna grab an OTG adapter and we are going to use that instead. So an OTG adapter is a very simple device, USB-C on one end or micro USB. On the other end, you have USB ports, just standard USB ports. Device, no serial connected, very nice. Okay. And as you can see, what you want to do then is you want to click on this right here. These are all the apps we have installed. So what you want to do is you want to click on those apps. I might need to blur a few of them out if they are apps that I'm not allowed to show you guys yet. And once you are in there, you want to sideload your APK. So what does that mean? That means you have to have found the application you want to put onto your quest and have it on your phone. So let's do that right now. I'm going to find Pavlov because that is an app I know is on SideQuest and we are going to sideload that to our Oculus Quest. So I'm going to download Pavlov VR, which seems to be not that hard actually. Okay, so I have the app downloaded. It took a little bit of time, so I just unplugged the entire thing. But now plugging it back in, the app should actually open automatically. Okay, I see that the app has in fact opened automatically. It's showing up right here as no serial for some reason, but hey, I don't care if it has a serial as long as it works. So I have the app downloaded. What you want to do is you click the plus in the top right corner here, click select APK file, click OK, allow it access to your files and find the APK file that you just downloaded. Pavlov is right there. So I'm going to click on that and it is now going to install the app to the headset through the phone. How cool is that? Package installed, we're ready. We have Pavlov on the Oculus Quest. And to confirm that, you can see it right there. It's up at the very tippity top of the installed packages. How cool is that? Like, this is amazing. We've gotten to the point where we can now ADB debug into the Quest through our phone. That's so freaking cool. And then of course, if you guys wanted to run commands on the Oculus Quest, 
using this app. Let's say you wanted to, for example, do the resolution mod and you don't have a computer. Well, here you go. You just click into the first one right here, commands, into the bottom right hand corner right here, and you have the interactive shell. Through here, you can run any ADB commands you like. Of course, as I said, please do be careful. And if you don't feel comfortable doing this, please don't. But for example, I could type ADB reboot and that should restart my quest. There we go. The quest is now restarting. So any ADB commands you would normally be able to run through the computer, you are now able to run through your phone. It's side quest for your phone, except it's not as easy to find the apps. You do kind of need to find them yourself. But here you are. This is for all you guys that were telling me that you don't have a computer and can't enjoy the quest as much as the other people can just because they do. I don't think that's very fair, which is why I decided not to upload the Wish video today. I thought this was way more important. I thought that you guys want to know this and that this will be much more entertaining for you guys out there that cannot sideload apps to your quest with a computer. Not only that, but I find this really cool because this now means we can sideload apps on the go wherever we are in the world. If we're on the plane we can do it if we're on the train we can do it we can do it anywhere that's how cool it is we can run adb commands we can sideload apps it's absolutely amazing thank you once again to uber j for mentioning this in the discord and if you guys want to become part of that discord make sure to join it down in the description below we have a bunch of amazing members but that is going to be it for today's video the wish video will instead come out tomorrow i hope you guys liked this i hope the audio quality is better and uh yeah if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you guys disliked it, please dislike it, but tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys are not yet part of this community, but would like to join it, we have a Discord server. The link for that is down in the description below. And we also have a Reddit, and I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes on that Reddit, so please join it. If you guys are interested in daily tech videos and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays, sometimes I upload VR videos like this if I feel that you guys are going to enjoy them or that you guys need them for a reason. For example, like you guys telling me that you don't have a PC. But if you guys are interested, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace. My coffee is going to go cold again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. That is some good coffee.